I agree there's a market shift to an extent, but like I tell everybody that I talk to when it comes to real estate, everybody says, hey, Spence, how's the real estate market? And I say, well, it's good if, or, I, if you're out there finding it. Or they come up and tell you what's going on. Oh, yeah, they can. People have yeah. been doing that to me lately. Like, they've been just coming up to me and telling me what's well, going they, on in the real estate market. But it's all, like, headline things. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, nobody is buying at all. Or, I don't know, no, like, when there's certain things, like, well, on the other hand, I just negotiated a repair addendum. And my buyers got everything they the asked for. The point is so, right like, there. You know so, I mean? they have a response that's yeah. more negative. I usually yeah. give them a positive response. And, like, yeah. positive responses is my activity in the market today. Because we're the professionals here. There's a reason maybe you popped up you, you popped up and in, in, in asked that question. Yeah. There's a reason. So my job, technically, yeah. even if I'm in public with my family, think about it, I'm working. My job yeah, is to working. give them a response and that's truthful. And a lot of the time, I mean I'm I'm pretty wide open. I'm black and white usually. And um, I'm not here to, to gain a new client in this restaurant. You right. know, if you really want something, I usually give you the contact information. This is where you can find me and I'm happy to come out this week. Or another thing I've been hearing a lot is, um, I've been seeing this a lot online. Realtors are like scammers and they're tr all trying to tell you it's a good time to buy when it isn't. Here's the thing. It's not there are my a lot job. Of videos going on, by the yes, way, but it, there, it's not my job to convince anyone to buy a house. Thank if you're you. going to buy a house, buy the house. If you're not, don't buy the house. I don't care. Like it's okay. It's all going to be okay. That's not my job. However, it is my job to share my opinion based off of what I'm seeing about real estate, about the market, about what I'm actually seeing in transactions. And so I have been doing that a lot, which has been leading to people saying things like realtors or scammers, whatever. But um, my point is I'm not saying like when I say um, I made a video yesterday and I was talking about how um, one of the reasons we could totally got off topic, but it's, it's okay. all good. One of the reasons why um, I think right now is a good time to buy is because a year ago, two years ago, um, there were no USDA loans being accepted. There were no FHA loans, like hardly any. It was so hard to get a one of those like first time buyer, no down or zero down programs. Um, it was so hard to get an offer like that accepted. Um, everyone wanted the conventional offer. And now it you have a really great shot if you have that offer, if you have Man. that type of loan. And so I was sharing that. And I'm not saying that because I'm like, Everyone needs about like, I'm not saying that because I'm trying to be scammy or you know what I mean? Or yes. I'm just saying that because I think that a little bit of light needs to be shed on a different perspective because the only perspective that's getting pumped out right now by everybody on YouTube and take everywhere is that now's a horrible time to buy interest rates are high and home prices are high. But like if interest rates were low, you would have a really low chance of getting a USDA loan accepted, offer accepted. Right. And so right now yes. the market has positioned just for those buyers yes. and clients in need of those type of loan programs, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, the difference is your mortgage is going to be slightly higher. We can't deny that because interest rates have increased. But, but rent's probably going to be higher there too. There you go. You can compare it to the rent. You can compare it to um, your car payment being too high as well. And now your debt to income is too, too But you'll high. probably still buy the car. Why is that less risky than buying the house? Hey. You know what I mean? Like yeah. people buy are so quick to just buy the car. <laughs> Why aren't, you know what I mean? But then, but then so the, and the though. cars depreciate. The homes depreciate over time. Why is the house the more risky <laughs> one? So Let's just think about that. For so a we are <laughs> in a good time to buy, and that's not a scam. That's not a lie. And here's why. That was a rhyme. Man, I'm good. So you you're able to get away with the negotiation tools right now. You're able to get out and show a home over the weekend if you work Monday through Friday and you can't get out there during the week. You're able to negotiate closing costs because odds are you don't have them buying a USDA home loan. You're able to buy down an interest rate and do the three, two, one programs and be in a 5% something interest rate even though rates are at about a 7.3 right now. I just named off four very, very, very good reasons why to explore today's real estate market mm. and we can do it in person right now. That's all we need. Leave a comment, text me, mm -hmm. email me. Mm -hmm. Let's see what your situation is mm -hmm. because I feel like a lot of people have like put themselves in the box. Yeah, they really have. They, they yeah. put themselves in a box and they've joined the bandwagon. They've joined the Instagram post. They've joined the Facebook post of the negativity happening around us. We are in an election right now here in Oregon, by the way. Yeah. If you haven't voted, go out and vote. Do it. 
It might be a little too Time's late now. Out. Yeah, I don't know when it, the but deadline is. But the point is, we're in a swing, okay? Mm -hmm. Economically yeah. and real estate. And I think we are going to do, um, we're, we're going to wrap up the show real quick though. We are going to do a um, mm. 2023 market prediction. Oh, are we? We are going to. Oh. I love those because firstly, it allows me to re-educate myself. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, give my own personal opinion. <laughs> and um, love I doing love that. doing that. <laughs> okay. So my own personal opinion is the only one that matters. So if you got a different one, go pounce out. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. Okay. <laughs> but the point is, hold on to your horses. If you just don't know yet if the market's right for you, contact somebody. I reach think, out to them. I think a big reason also is why people are more hesitant to buy right now is because there is uncertainty in the market. And I understand that because we really don't know what's going to happen. Things are changing and we don't know how quickly and what direction. Like we just don't. There's a lot of what ifs right now. And that uncertainty, um, I mean, it, it was uncertain last year when we bought and, but now it's like another level, you know, yeah. cause it, it's always been uncertain, but now it's like just a different level of uncertainty. Yeah. And if, when people are uncertain, it makes it harder to make a decision, I think. Yeah. 